Alright everyone, uh, welcome back to Let's Play Tiny Toon Adventures Buster Bus Lease for the Super Nintendo made by Konami. Here we are in the Acme Desert, I guess. Or maybe this is just the desert and there's like the Acme Mountain Ridge back there, I don't know. So anyways, here we are on the second stage with the intro. Uh, a little bit of fourth wall breaking, and you know that's something I like about this game. It uh, doesn't take it too seriously in that regard, you know, they let you know you're playing a game. They did that a lot in the TV show, too. They'd let you know you were watching the show all the time. Which was nice, you know. I think that's some appropriate juvenile humor. I think that's good for kids to, you know, remember you're watching a TV show. I actually like fourth wall humor a lot. I guess it's generally frowned upon in, in the industry or whatever. I don't even know, but whatever. I don't really care either. So, yeah. Got some... Got a little western twang to the uh, Tiny Toons theme going on right here for this music. Music in this game gets a gets a solid B plus from me. There's much better music on the Super Nintendo, but you know what? They play on the theme well, and uh, I'm, I mean that's all you really need to ask for a game about a TV show. Whenever you watch, you know, shit like the Angry Video Game Nerds, always like number one, where's the music from? You know, the source material. And here it is, right here in spades. So, gotta jump over this, uh, jump rope right here, before we can, uh, continue on. And every time you miss, you lose, uh, health, so that is an issue. Now, there's some stars up there, but you know what? Fuck those stars. I just, I don't even, because those stupid, freaking, little condor guys, I don't want anything to do with. I just want to go, just want to be on my way. No, that's a trap, but you know what? I'm too good for that. It's smart. Hi, oh, drop kick. What's up? Oh, change it up this time with some barrels. Gonna wait and see if they're gonna drop another one. Yep, there it is. Better safe than sorry. These barrels kind of remind me of the, uh... Oh, my God. Oh, come on. I was drop kicking. Oh. Of, you know, those, uh... You know those roosters from Woodman's stage? Yeah. It's kind of like those, just running right on them. Too easy. Now this game has an easy, a normal, and I guess maybe a hard mode? I don't know, I'm pretty sure I'm playing on normal. And there's actually level differences between normal and hard. I mean, between easy and normal. For example, if you're playing on easy, the level ends right here. But if you're playing on uh, normal, then we get this section right here. And this section right here is pretty legit. At least that's how I seem to recall it. But then again, I used to mess up on that jump rope part too as a kid. I'm pretty sure there's just a few... Yeah, okay. That's what there is. Oh god. Yeah, you gotta run through those right there. That's the only way. If you get caught in them, you gotta, you gotta use your uh, dash to get through them. Pretty sure there's a few other dick moves too. Oh, that's right. Okay. That's right, you can dash up walls. Gotta remember that. Pretty cool feature. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, you know what? Good on them, though, for breaking out the uh, the dash feature. But uh, I kind of fucked up right there, it seems. But, yeah. I should've just kept going. Should've just had faith in the map, man. I had no faith in the map right there. I'm also playing this part blind, so... Uh, yeah. Should be interesting. Give you that authentic first playthrough experience. <laughs> uh, okay. These nests easy when you know they're coming. That would have been funny if I got caught by that one, because I almost did. Not 100% sure how to. Okay. I can just hit the dash button again and I'll get out of the dash. That's probably going to be useful. Dash! Jump! And whenever you pick up one of these go-go dodos, you get full dash meter, which is good. Because I do need that. And that golden one is actually invincibility, which is why I was allowed to dash through those guys. Now, my character was flashing right there, so I have no idea if you'll be seeing invisibility or you'll actually be seeing a solid Buster Bunny right there. Just a... Casualty of, you know, freaking recording, man. Games are at 68 frames per second, and it records at... Where the hell is... That was pretty lame. 
Yeah, I think I've died there a few times as a kid. No doubt. And here we go again. But, yeah, I'm pretty happy I just tried out that uh, stopping dash beforehand now. It's pretty useful. Or else I would be running back and forth like a crazed freaking idiot. I did it! Okay. Oh, man. Just had to have faith in the game right there. Woo! Alright. I made it this far. Feeling pretty pretty proud of myself right there. That was not not bad right there. Now this, I don't remember at all. Got this got this guy over here wearing a Yale sweatshirt? What's that all about? That guy does not look like a guy that went to Yale. Is this like the designers poking fun? Or is this like some kind of Japanese thing where they don't know what the uh you know, the words mean, and they're just putting, like, words on a shirt. But you guys assume, like, the Japanese maybe know what Yale is? I don't know. I don't know of any colleges in Japan other than, like, Tokyo University. I don't even know if this guy's the boss. It's pretty lame if this guy's the boss. But then again, this whole section right here was pretty rough. I guess he was. So, alright, very good. Moving right along. Now, if there is... Anything? Oh my gosh! Oh man, what is this? Okay, I think I got this. Oh my god, I did not have to do that. That freaking log was trolling me. That log trolled me so hard right there. <sighs> At least I get to start right here. This part was pretty easy. I should not have panicked. There's no need to panic in this game. You just have to trust, trust the programmers. They're not going to screw you that hard. I don't even know why they have this section though, this is too easy. I mean, maybe it'd be like hard for like a kid or something, but I mean that part hard before this was so much harder in comparison even. This is just drop kicking fools. They don't even like throw stuff at you. Like I thought Arnold was harder than this guy over here. Maybe it's just a little breather though, you know, breaking it up. Gets you inside the train, a little bit of change of scenery. I got no problem with that really. Who is this guy, though? Is this, like, Montana Max's dad? I don't think you ever actually saw Montana Max's parents in the show. Which I would say is, like, a commentary on, like, why he's such a dick. But, uh, I don't think you see anyone's parents in the show, really, so... You know, it is what it is. Alright, let's try this one more time. And on to the logs. And there it is. Oh god! Oh god, I missed! Fuck! Arnold! Dang it, man! Come on! That was not cool, dude. Okay. Man, I kinda wanna... I wonder if I can actually do that. I feel like I need to, like, practice right here. No, that would just make me fall off. I don't know, man. I don't know if it's possible. I guess I was just late. I don't know, man. I think I'll just fall off if I even try. Perhaps I just hesitated. Hesitation is the seed of defeat. A wise ninja once said that. Come on, get back on the screen, fool. Look at this wuss over here. This little cane. Who does he think he is? Getting tired of beasting this fool. Alright. I'm just gonna jump. Now. Oh, y no, yes! Oh, yes! Arnold. You know what? Screw you, man. I understand you were just giving me an out right there and those things don't even hurt me, but still. Just being a dick. So yeah, I guess you can probably see why the uh, the easy section of the level ended where it did. I'm actually surprised this level's still going, man. This is impressive. They really sell you short on the, uh, on the easy level. What a beast. 
Alright, so this is all scripted right here. I didn't do any of that dashing. Oh, but now I'm back in control again. And with that music, I guess we're at a boss fight, finally. Finally! A boss fight! Where's that quote from? Can anyone, if anyone can guess. Then, you know, bonus points or something. Alright, I gotta kill these things. And I'm pretty sure those little white steam things down there will hurt me, so... I'm watching out for those. And I'm just gonna let this thing... Uh, maybe I can do two at once. Actually, I just gotta go like a mofo now. Okay, good. And then down we go, it looks like. Okay. Watch out for these things again. My ears. Though, probably a little toasty. Not too hard. I don't know if I can jump up there, but I don't really want to try either. I'll just be sealing my fate. Oh my gosh, am I supposed to be killing these things? I don't even know, dude. I don't even know, dude. At this point, I just need to get going, I think. Screw that. I don't even care. Oh my gosh. This may be just be an endurance test. That is a one-up right there. I don't think we've actually seen one yet, so that's what it is. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just got shot on by that fire. What's up, Max? Dude. I'm just gonna chill here, because screw that fire. Wait. Yo, what's up, bro? Oh, is that right? Alright, let's escape by jumping on that railroad cart. No problem. Alright, Max, let's go. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing right here. I'm just mashing buttons. Oh, what the hell is it? What am I supposed to be doing right here? I don't know! I don't know! Oh my god! I don't even know if I'm doing anything, to be honest! Oh my god, I'm just hitting everything. I'm, getting, I'm hitting, like, up and down, left and right. Doing, you know, like, freaking... Oh, yeah, there we go. Ah, uh, I think it's, uh, circles. I think it was circles. Circles is what I think it was. Got up to 88 miles per hour. Alright, that's pretty good. I guess. Do some, uh... What you call it. You know, back to the future kind of moves right there. No problem. 88 miles per hour, actually. That's pretty impressive. If you can get up to that kind of speed on, like, a two-man operated vehicle, why don't you just do that? That'd be like hella fast. Even if it's just on rails, who cares? <laughs> okay, so last time I believe we did the Hampton minigame, so if I get that one again, I'm just gonna redo it. Yeah, that didn't happen. You didn't see anything right there. Alright, the Plucky Duck minigame. This minigame is all luck, but when I was a kid, I actually really liked this one. It's just so exciting. It's bingo. Who doesn't like bingo? Also, you're pretty much guaranteed. Oh, shit. That didn't happen either. That never happened either. Alright. So, yeah. Chance to get extra lives. So, yep. Yeah. Here we go. Got our bingo board set up. Uh, get seven balls. And for complete lines, you get an extra life. So, all you do is, you know, get the balls. Really nothing to it. Definitely going to be one of the less interesting games, I guess, to actually play. But, you know, it's all about how many extra lives you're going to get, man. It's like, alright, I got a couple bingos looking pretty good right now. I just need... If I can get Montana Max, that would actually be pretty good. Because I could get that... Those first two rows down in a cross going. That freaking little Tweety Bird right there is not doing me any, any favors. That did not help me at all. Alright, Shirley the Loon. Uh, Alright, if I could get Go-Go Dodo, that would be pretty good for me. Roadrunner. Ah. How many more do I have left? I'm not doing so hot, man. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Bingo, what's up? Give me another ball. Okay. Oh, man. Give me the... Yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah! 
So, only two lives. That kind of sucks, to be honest. Not really a fan. But, uh... Well, that was the second level. It was actually pretty pretty enduring, man. That was, that was legit. That was a legit level. <laughs> and, this is what we have in store for us next time. It is going to be in a haunted ish mansion ish kind of thing and that's what we'll be next time on let's play tiny tune adventures so i hope you enjoyed it and later